How are you guys doing? Today is Wednesday, August 4th, 2021. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an elite individual profile on Mike Soroka. The elite young starting pitcher for the Atlanta Braves turns 24 today, and my intent with this episode is, of course, to bring up all of his accolades, his achievements, and just show what he's been able to accomplish from the moment that this player hit the limelight as a prospect, virtually, to turn into the Braves' youngest opening day starter in modern history. Um, this is a player that's currently suffering an Achilles injury that he suffered from last year. But of course, make no mistake, when Mike Soroka plays, he doesn't have to throw the ball over 92 miles an hour to effectively dominate the mound. Um, so just to give a little bit of background, this Mike Soroka is originally from Alberta, Canada, one of very few like really great MLB players from Canada. So of course, he's repping an entire nation when he came to the, when he came to the Atlanta Braves and started uh, from scratch. He would eventually get drafted out of high school after he was committed to play for Berkeley, um, but he would eventually get taken by the Atlanta Braves organization, and he would eventually get promoted by the Atlanta Braves in 2018 in his age 20 season, which probably shown right there, which probably showed right there that it was probably a worthwhile invest. It was probably the worthwhile decision to go straight out of high school rather than go to college. Um, in his debut season, he would go on to make five starts for the Atlanta Braves in 2018 in a season where they would go on to win the National League East with 90 wins. They won 80 more games in the previous season, and that was actually the beginning of their current National League East championship streak. In that specific season, in the five games he played, Mike Soroka would finish with a 2-1 record, finishing with a 3.51 ERA. In the 25 innings he pitched, he allowed 30 hits and struck out 21 batters. He's not a, he's not a pitcher that will rack up an insane number of strikeouts, but you will see that at least he can find a way to keep runs from crossing the plate. And of course, after 2018, wasn't didn't get as much recognition as he, uh, as he felt he needed, but he did earn his way into the Braves starting lineup on a playoff roster. Uh, later on that year, in 2018, they would go on to lose to the Dodgers in the NLCS, um, and, and that would be the year where the Dodgers ended up losing to the Red Sox in the World Series that year. Following his debut season, Mike Soroka would make his official rookie season uh, start in 2019. In 2019, he would start 29 games in a season where the Atlanta Braves would finish with a 97-65 and record. They won seven more games in the previous season, and they would win the NL East for the second straight year. In the 29 games that he started, which is the only season in Mike Soroka's career that he started over five, they started at least six games. He started over five games. He would finish with a 13 and four record while finishing with a 268 ERA. He would go on to be named an All Star in his first full season as a pitcher, as in addition to being named to the All MLB Second Team. In the 174 innings he pitched, he allowed 153 hits, which is 21 less hits than innings pitched. And he would strike out 142 batters, which is 11 less strikeouts than innings pitched. He would have 32 less strikeouts than innings pitched. As like I said, he's not really a strikeout guy. Um, he would go on to be, he would finish second in the rookie of the year voting in the MLB race to Pete Alonso, the player who would end up breaking the National League record in home or the National League rookie record in home runs as he had 23 home runs and 120 RBIs to give a sense of who his competition was just to show how dominant of a pitcher Mike Soroka was in his only full season. And he would go on to finish sixth in a Cy Young race that would see Jacob deGrom taking home the trophy, taking home the hardware. But the fact that he was sixth in Cy Young voting and is for only full season as an Atlanta Braves pitcher should say enough. And at the conclusion of 2019, he would be one of the Braves starters. Uh, it would be the game three starter, which probably was a the, the, the decision that ended up losing the Braves the series to the St. Louis Cardinals in five. And that was the year where the Cardinals, in that year, the Cardinals would end up losing to the Nats. And then the Nats would end up winning the World Series in 2019. And of course, that would bring us to the 2020 season where that was impacted by COVID to the point where it shortened the game to, from 162 games to 60 games. Uh, in that season, Mike Soroka would only start three games for an Atlanta Braves team that would finish with the best record in the National League East. 
Mike Soroka would actually go on to tear his ACL uh, after starting the opening season, or after being the Braves' youngest starting pitcher in opening day, or in modern history. The Braves' youngest starting pitcher for opening day. Sorry, if I, it took me a second to say that. He would suffer a torn Achilles tendon, and then that same injury would actually carry on into this current season where he was able where he actually retore his Achilles while walking into the stadium, effectively ruling him out for the, for the rest of the season. So that currently brings us to where we are right now as Mike Soroka is a young pitcher who's currently turning 24. His only full season in the MLB, his age 21 season in 2019, resulted in him when it, being named an all-star and a top six Cy Young vote getter in the National League in his first full season, which should give a which will give a glimpse into the type of pitcher that he can be when he is healthy. It is very unfortunate that he hasn't had that, that much time to prove the type of pitcher that he was when he was healthy, but he has but he has shown that when he is healthy, he, he very well can go on to be one of the Braves' most dominant pitchers in their history. With that said, I want to thank the I want to thank um, Pro Baseball Reference. I want to thank the MLB website as well for giving me the facts and figures that I needed for this episode. I, of course, want to thank everybody for listening to this. And I want to wish Mike Soroka a happy 24th birthday. If you ever get a chance to watch him, he wears number 40 for the Atlanta Braves. And if you know how pitching works, how starting pitching works, when he gets started pitching again, he'll be pitching every fifth game because, you know, they pitchers need time to rest their arms and shoulders. They are throwing a ball 90 miles per hour, for God's sake. But with this, I want to thank everyone once again. I hope all is well. And hopefully by this time next year on Mike Soroka's 25th birthday, I'll have more to talk about. And until then, thanks for listening to my piece once again. I hope all is well and peace out. I'll catch you tomorrow.